Alright y'all. We're trying it again. We're trying it again. Our apologies. Our apologies. Apologies. We went that live. Didn't work. We were not in a good uh we tried. You know, you think with all these 5G towers they put up everywhere, up everywhere. that the service would be amazing, but they look like a, it's a little light in spots. It's a little light yeah. in spots. So, hey, we got a few people joining us back again. Hey. Yeah. We know some and of you were smoke. here for the earlier one, the but uh, on Mary hey. Hill, how are you? So Hello, good to see you. Oh, Mary. Yeah, we are here. Where are we? We're in the middle of central Washington. Uh, uh, we're telling we're you about we're headed into <clears throat> smoke country. So there's just yeah, you can see the haze like Dara, you can back. see the haze all the way across the horizon where we're at. It's super sunny Jason. where we're at right now, but in about nah, looks Jody, like hello. maybe 15, 20 miles. It Wait, isn't going to be sunny. I mean, no, no, no. Jody, no. Nicks. Jody Nix is, uh, I saw her kids started Stephanie. school today. Started school today. Jody, Jody Nix, working oh on being teacher of the year. Okay, wait, she is already teacher of the year. She What's up, David? How are you? School I know, and it's amazing. Like, Desks. It looks better and... than Disneyland at the library. I mean, combined. Disneyland Crazy. at the library? Combined. That's awesome. David! What's going on? So, anyway, we were telling you yesterday, y'all. Uh, so, Daddy. after church, uh, Melinda was in. Um, hey, hey. Melinda was in Livingston, Montana. Yes. For the weekend. So amazing. after church, uh, I got a ride down to the airport and I flew so I could drive her home. And yesterday That's morning, so nice. we left at 830 in the morning. I was like, babe, you don't need to come drive me home. And now I'm so glad that he did. Yeah. So we left at 830 <laughs> in the morning. Even though last night in the middle of the night, you clocked me in the face. I did. I did. It was a right I mean, hook. I realized I, it was uncomfortable <laughs> bed. But. It was a right hook. And, but uh, so on the Sherry. way through, we took a little detour, right? Yes. And what did we uh, go see? That was a big detour. What did we go see though? Oh, we, well, I mean, we went and just saw some other towns. <laughs> we went to go other see cities. Yellowstone. We saw the Yellowstone, Yellowstone, Yellowstone yeah. Ranch. That was kind of cool. Yeah. Um, but uh, on our way home, we, we were in snow. It was 33 it degrees. Was 100 degrees in Livingston. And snow, it was 100 degrees in Livingston yeah. on Sunday. It was snowing yesterday about noon. Then we were in this Rest massive, day. Massive windstorm, and oh, yeah. uh, so much so that they, the fires and everything, they closed a whole bunch of highways in Washington. So we had to turn around, go back to Missoula, go over this pass called Lolo Pass, which yeah, which at the it's got me choked up, oh, because <laughs> it's a uh, like a it's like two hundred miles yeah. of winding road. It was beautiful at forty five fifty miles an hour. Beautiful, <laughs> only to get. Like Two six miles? six That's miles right. to Lewiston, Sydney. and there's a brand new fire, saga. and they turned us around. Around. Oh, we and have they, the full, We have the horses. We have the, the horses, back. and the, the horses, horses. You know, you guys can't, can't be in the trailer. You know, you try to minimize, and so we, we uh. We were hitting thirteen hours, twelve hours. Well, see, so we ended up Debbie. being. It ended up being sixteen total okay. before we got to a friend's ranch. Here in Central Washington, late, late, late last Deb. night. Oh. But hold on, hold on. Do you have the video? What? Did you send the video to me, or is the video on your phone? No, it's on my Insta. Okay, so, so y'all, yeah, you're all not ready for this. Yeah. We're in the oh middle my of Idaho. We're in the middle of Idaho, and Tracy, Google. Google is telling us. After we're turned around from the other yeah. highway, and we're like, how do we get there? We, we can't get home. And Google is telling us, go this way. So what were the names of those roads? Okay, wait. One of them was Ze Zeppiner. Zeppiner. I'm like, are we, that is Google, like they're running out of road Ze names. No, it was not a road, it was a gravel. Was not a road. Offshoot. Oh, there through, was one called Offset. Through Little House through, on the Prairie. Little literally. Prairie. Prairie, like fields. go go three miles down Zeppiner Road, yeah. And turn right miles. for three miles on Offset Road, turn left on lane, lane. On, on Shortcut Lane, lane. for nine miles. And all the while we're just watching the fire. We're driving <laughs> right alongside of the fire, going oh, Jesus! It was hilarious. Okay, we didn't know where we, we were did at. see a huge buck though. That was amazing. Super cool. <laughs> okay. 
couldn't you, really see you, it. It was dark. It was dark. Anyway, but we you could see his, to, his to antlers road. in the horizon. So then we finally We're alive. got We're alive. finally got back to asphalt and got our way through Lewiston, Ooh, and then so oh my high. gosh, y'all, there's some roads out here in this country that are like whoo, they're rough going. Anyway, we made it. Thank you for picking me up. We made it. So. We're just about an hour and a half from home. About an hour and a half from home, and we're kind of excited about that. So, Thomas. So good. What's up, Welcome Thomas? Back. How are you, man? Yeah, Welcome we're back. back. Welcome back. I don't we're know back. if I used so, to watch that show. Do you even know what show that is? Welcome back, Somebody. Carter. Carter. But I was saying, uh, when we were live last time, I think today is a day of celebration. It is Tuesday. So let's give it up for Taco Tuesday, y'all. We need to have some tacos. Do you want tacos tonight? On this fantastic no. Tuesday, seven. What do you say? She you is say a trooper. She's yeah, in the she has literally truck. been in the truck for hours and hours and hours and hours. And she hasn't even um, she hasn't even complained one oh, is time. Is it smoky there, in Monroe? Is it smoky? Really yeah. smoky. Well, in Monroe. I see it. We're getting ready. To yeah, go. we're getting ready to go into it. Do you have it, an so. encouraging word? Uh, I. You know what? Here, My, I have one. You do? Well, come on, bring it. Bring it. What's your encouraging word? <laughs> make sure the kids makes don't scream at the yeah. And then make sure the parents are patient. Oh. Someone's driving by slow, making sure we're okay. We're okay. Thanks, buddy. We're good. We're good. Yes, sir. I don't know if he's driving by slow checking on us or he's know. just driving <laughs> by slow. He might just be driving by slow. <laughs> when you're lost and you don't know where you are. Oh, my gosh. That's so true. Oh, man. I'm telling you. You got to. Okay. So you don't have, you have an encouraging word. Well, I always have an encouraging word. I, I think good. that. I think that, uh, you know, um, I'm excited about this weekend. Uh, oh, back in the church and, building. And I think the encouraging word is y'all yeah. right now. I think, I think Paul, who Patience had of probably oh, one of the most um, iconic, iconic callings of all of the, the people in the Bible. Okay. He, he called ambition having a quiet and peaceable life. And, wow. you know, we have this idea in our culture that ambition is reaching the top Mike. or whatever. And, and I just think that there is a real, real power right now in the climate well, that we're, we're in right to right stay now. in position, stay in position, to work quietly stay and to serve in others. Position. Stay in position, y'all. That's my word for you right now. Stay in the position of prayer stay in a position of working hard this sunday jessica we this are in sunday the we are back in the building girl um stay in position uh for um you know all that god is doing in your life now is not the time to get out of position because of weariness or frustration or whatever stay in position work quietly Serve others. These are the these are the admonitions. I gotta get my hot spot today. I was, somebody's in line to get their hot spot. Oh yeah, you gotta go to today, don't you? Um, 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 Paula, I did well. I got a check in my last class, so that bumped me up a little bit more in the standings. A little bit more. So we got a weekend off, and then we got another one in a couple weeks. So, um, but my thought is, y'all, stay in position. Okay. And my thought is that like. Sometimes when we get weary or we get frustrated or we get, um, you know, whatever, we want to move position. And I just exhort you Ooh, to stay man. in position, work quietly, serve others. These, this is the admonitions of the apostles, y'all. And they lived in a very fiery, anti-Christ yeah. climate. Yeah. And I'm telling you. Um, we had a bunch of our friends down in Seattle last, last night, night yep. at that worship gathering, and they were texting us and keeping us informed. In the city of and Seattle, they paid to put concrete blockades to stop the worship gathering, Nancy. so then it happens in the streets. And I'm just saying, y'all, that we're living in a time where we're probably seeing, um, you know, the Antichrist spirit more outward. But you got to know, it's always been there. Yeah. Come on, y'all. The apostles dealt with the Antichrist spirit. So when, when we deal with that, y'all, we got to just stay in position. We got to work quietly and we got to serve others. That's the admonition of the apostles who established the early church. Yeah. And can I share something? I think you should. Okay. So I was reading about, you know, 
the, the story that most everyone knows, been in Sunday school, David and yeah. Goliath. Come on, David. When David went out, okay, so the Philistines, Goliath the, Goliath, the big giant was part of the Philistines. He was a Philistine. And they were actually camped in Judah, in the land that didn't belong to them. They yeah. belong, it belonged to the, to the people of Judah. And so David, he went out to bring lunch to his brothers, you know. Right. For 40 days, Goliath has, was came out every day, all every day, every taunting. night, saying, taunting them. Taunting. Come on, come and get me. You guys are what says, you know, you can't do this. Calling whatever. them out. My language, yeah, calling them out. So David, it said that he went running to Goliath. Yeah. Can you imagine? Like, they were camped in land that didn't belong to theirs. Yeah. Didn't belong to them. The enemy is camped in land that does not belong to them. Spiritually, I mean, we, we are to hold our place. We are to stand strong and not back up. And spiritually, and in our prayers, and in our confessions of faith, man, we got to run towards the enemy. Because we are not on defense totally. here. We are on offense. Yeah. And the cool thing that he tried, David tried Saul's armor, and it was it didn't fit him. And so David went and he bent down and he picked up five smooth stones and he, a slingshot. And he said, you might come at me, Goliath, with the sword and the spear, but I come at you right. with the name, with of, the the name of the Lord. Come on. We carry up, that name of Jesus, the name above every name. And we got to go running by yeah, faith I love it. to take the territory that is ours. I love it. We're so not good. on defense here. No. We're not the ones who are afraid and waiting for the enemy to come to us. We are win we are fighting from the winning side. And that means we have peace good, because Kathleen. we come in the name of the Lord. What does it say? Yes, they yep. are. Yep. The land that doesn't belong to them. Yep, yep, yep. Anyway, I just I just thought that was so powerful. I mean, David, scrawny little David, he went running at Goliath, whom the entire army was fearful and was standing there listening to him for 40 days and 40 nights, taunting him. Listen, the enemy is taunting you. He wants to kill our babies. He wants to bring destruction. He wants to bring lack of peace. But we are, we are rising up. We're already risen up. We are already woken up as a church and a people of God. And we have the name of Jesus. There is no other name aside from the name of Jesus. He's already one. We are here as ambassadors of God's love, extending the kingdom of God. Yeah. We're on his mission, a co-mission, his mission. So good. We can't lose. Since so when good. we have the Holy Spirit, we have the advantage, John says. And she was asking me if I had an encouraging word today. <laughs> All right, y'all. That was great, babe. That was great. I'm encouraged with that. All right, y'all. We I love y'all. Man, I missed you. <laughs> We're praying for uh, praying for your protection and uh, praying for provision in your life. That's right. Stephanie. May God Goodness. supply all your needs right yes. now Thank according you, to his riches and glory. And may he provide protection around your house, your home from this virus, your family, the fires, your, your the peace, the fires, the smoke, Anxiety. all of it, y'all. We, we're going to look back on 2020 Ambassador and tell some stories, Gaza. aren't we? Man, I can't Corey, wait to, Paul and yeah, absolutely. Love anyway, you. we love you guys. We got about an hour left, hour and a half left on our mega journey. It seems like we've we have seen some oh, country, you guys. Oh, but look. Oh, I got, I got a can of SpaghettiOs I'm going to eat cold. I actually cut my She finger. actually has a can of SpaghettiOs in here that she is going to eat. Yes, I am. Because, no, because so that's good. my wife, you I'm guys. Sorry, it's not good for you. My wife love loves it. SpaghettiOs. Did you know what else she loves? She loves Spam. Ew. She does. I can't. She loves it. She you loves don't spam. Raise your children right. That's the way my mama raised me. Raise so if you want your kids to eat healthy, right. raise them. Raise your children right. Oh, oh I eat. Well, anyway. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, she eats a lot of strange stuff. She also likes fish in a can. Yeah, fish okay, in a can. All right, y'all. That's even. Yeah. Thanks, Jody. Yeah, an uneventful. Let's just get. Uneventful. Let's just get to the goal oh, line. We're super close. No so. Fires. Anyway, all right, y'all. We love you. We'll talk soon. Yep. See you later. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow.